Man, it seems like it's been forever since I've been to Jim's farm here. Oh, big surprise. My cousin's here. Big surprise. What the heck is that? Oh, I gotta, I gotta see what this is. Can anybody say midlife crisis? Yep. Jim is in full tilt. Look at this rat rod. Let's get to it. I cannot believe this. Oh my goodness, is Jim in full fledge midlife crisis. I mean, he's got a rat rod. Look at this wooden floor and everything. Does this thing start up? Ooh, wow. What? Is that the horn? I like how the Grim the Reaper uh, gear shift right there. It's definitely rustic. I don't know. I I would like a, a little bit cleaner rat rod. I don't need all the skulls, all the night tear. It's a little bit too much for me, but okay. All right. Jim seems to be still sleeping here. Let's give the wake-up call to Jim. That should wake him up. I don't know about Jim nowadays. So I figured it's a nice, beautiful day out. We're going all the way up to Jim's. I would just take my beautiful Bronco. Why not? My wife doesn't drive it hardly anymore. We didn't have it up at the cabin, but uh, I took the hard top off of it, and I'm loving it. Definitely loving it. So, of course, you're probably wondering, why are we up here? Well, Jim needs to do his wheat harvest. He asked us to come up here. Oh, my goodness. Jim hasn't even... Ugh. Man, we're going to have to... Oh, my goodness. Jim has been slacking majorly, so let's we're gonna have to get all of Jim's equipment ready. His he still has his corn heads on there, so where should I put these? Oh man. He's still not even around yet. Can you believe that? I think I'm just gonna I'll park them right over here. So I'll get these uh, harvesters started warming up. Start up that one. Oh, I just love this 8240 on track, so it looks so good. Alright, let that one warm up. Alright, now the big question is... What do we get running? So we're going to have to get the grain carts running too. Man, he doesn't have nothing running. I'm going to get the truck started up. So he has a cat. And a freight shaker, if you didn't know. Kind of liking the cat. I always like the front end of the cat. Freight shaker. It doesn't really shake that much, but it's a newer one, so. This thing isn't too, that old. I think it's only five years old, so. Alright, then they're started up. So now I need to get these. Where are the heads at? I don't remember. Oh no. Man, these duels are wide. Look at that thing. Talk about fatties. Raise that up. Alright. We're gonna go out that just because I don't want to have to back up and turn. This is probably easier. I don't think I can make that turn. Disregard, I cannot make that turn. I can't make that turn right there with my uh, auger hitting, if you can see. It's going to hit right there. You can see that. 
can't do that. Alright, gotta go in the other way, I guess. Alright, that one is unhitched. Now we do a little, let's find the wheat head. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Uh, most of Jim's fields are close by, so we're just not even going to worry about putting them on, uh, pulling them to the field. We have 245 McDon heads here. Jim goes big, and he doesn't go home. All right, I'm going to pull it over here. I know this truck over here will have a grease gun. There we go. Grease that up. Probably should have just greased it up before I started it up. That would have been a smart thing. And check the oil and everything. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oops. Rucky move. Rucky. Rucky move. Wow. This is tight. Yeah, just barely. It's almost like I planned this or something. Trust me, I didn't plan it. Hey, look. Now it's a 24 row in a 12 row spot. I know, that was stupid. I know, that was stupid. Alright, we're gonna get the other head, and I need to run through these harvesters the best I can in like, uh, say an hour, maybe. And hopefully by that time, Jim's up and running. Pretty sure I got the head, I got the harvester. So Jim did uh, call and tell me that these harvesters are actually run through. So he had a diagnosis done at the dealership. So they are should be good to go. We just have to set them to wheat. And that's all in cab, I believe. Not positive. I don't remember how he sets these. That to better get out here so he can help me out. All right, so I think, yeah, we'll, we'll park these over here on the side. All right, that truck's in the field. Oh, I'm going to have to open up the tarp. Now I get to walk all the way back through his bean field. Come on, Jim, you're supposed to be giving me a ride back and forth at least. My oh, Jim. Man, my cousin's dating him, and he is just going crazy. He's not much of a farmer lately. What the heck is this? Wow. Look at that thing. They're going into Jim's yard. Oh, you cut that a little sharp. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. Ooh. We got a rookie driver here. What the heck? The Jim? Holy cow. That thing is sweet. Man, I gotta figure out where Jim's at. Get him to... What the heck is going on here? Alright, they're eating breakfast still, of course. But, Jim... I didn't know this, but that 9RX Jim is actually leasing. He is uh, grown to like red a little bit around here, if you can't tell by the harvesters sitting ready to go, waiting for somebody to eat breakfast. He wants to try out a brand new quad track. Man, I love that black hood. That black uh, tinted windows look freaking nice. That is nice. Man, that is sharp. So I guess he's going to try this out. He's just going to basically, we're going to test this out during harvest. He actually wants to run both grain carts, which is not normal for wheat harvest, but he wants to run them just so he can compare the 9RX to the quad track. So the only thing issue is uh, probably I'm going to put red with red and green with green. And green is a little bit bigger than red. You could tell that's a 10. This is a 1051. So that's just over a thousand bushels. And this uh, almost has over 500 more. So this is like 
almost a truck and a half, and that's a, a semi-load. These Kenworths are all over the place. That is one heck of a nice Kenworth. I love the red, or what is that, maroon? I don't know. The maroon and the uh, gray? Oh, man. Just accents it perfectly. You got the top, bottom, little where the chicken lights are. And you got the back fenders. All right, time to hook up our beautiful Steiger. Man, sexy. Black, I just love all that black tint. The tint always looks good on every vehicle. Ooh, watch the Pro 700 start up. Pretty clean inside. Definitely can tell Jim hasn't been driving it. All right. We'll back it up and hitch it up to uh, old Red here. All right, we are hitched up. Can you say overkill? Yep, this is definitely going to be a little overkill. So we got 620 horsepower pulling a J&M 1051. So a little bit of overkill there, just a tad. So the other one would be more suited, but even 600 horsepower for this 1596 is a lot. All right, now we gotta see if we can get it out of here. Oh man, this quad track turns sharp. Just so you know, if you think Jim is going all red, he has that uh, 8R right there, and he has the 9RX behind us, so he's not completely red yet. Well, I'm done with waiting. I'm gonna, once I get this over here, ready to go, I am gonna go get the harvester and start running around this field, and we'll see when Jim actually gets around to uh, waking up. Well, Jim still isn't around, so I'm going to grab number two over here. I'm just guessing Jim will probably want to drive number one. It's a, It's got a little bit more horsepower than the 7240. So the 7240 is a class 7 harvester, I believe, and the 8 is an 8. This harvester is actually a little bit newer than that one, though, so... This harvester is a year newer, so... He, Jim purchased these off the custom crew, so customs crew, they kind of use the harvesters, and then uh, a lot of farmers ends up buying them afterwards because they just lease them or otherwise buy and sell them right away. Ooh, I forgot about the dip right there. Almost jammed the old wheat head in the dirt. All right, I'm going to go up here a ways and then start harvesting down. So Jim says this is ready to go. I hope he's sure because we already basically committed because uh, we got all the stuff here. All right, we are harvesting away here. So Jim is nowhere to be found still. Oh, here comes Jim finally. About time you come around here. Why is your head down? What the heck? Oh man. What the heck is wrong with Jim lately? Alright, so uh, we are headed around the field. So this field is very odd. Let's just say that. It goes in and around them trees. Oh man. Train's just stuck right there. Train must have broke down or something. That's odd. So it goes in and around. You see that little grass patch. So there's a lot of waterways here. Not really the hilliest of ground, but I guess that is really bad uh, farmland there. Uh, I forget what you call it, but you have the, like the shell type soil. So really only grass grows there. So. Not the best farmland, but the 
It's really close to Jim's uh, house, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it kind of goes around these trees and it follows the train tracks a little bit there. Hopefully Jim plans on getting going around here, so uh, both harvesters, and I think I said this is a 45 foot head, it's a 40 foot head, Jim corrected me, so this is a, only a 40 foot head, so we, we're not with the big boys, which Jim said uh, the 7240 would be a little bit light in the back, probably a 45 foot head would be a little bit too uh, much for it. So we got two, yeah, see there's some odd shaped waterways in this field. Oh, you see up there on the horizon right there? That's Jim, finally doing something. It's probably the most work Jim's done in a long time. Poor Jim, all about chasing the girls, not about farming. Farming before, you know what, Jim. So now the question is, so we only have three of us in this field, so I don't know which grain cart uh, my cousin's going to be driving. It's a little odd. I just went across that waterway. There's no use uh, basically going around that and making a field, so we'll just cross it. It's not too wet in the center, so... Probably just cut across this uh, little grass patch here around this little uh, sharp point of the field. I don't know why Jim planted it this way. Kind of odd. Really odd. Must have started another uh, roll right there. Or... Apparently, your cousin's gonna unload us right here. Alright. So we're just going to we're headed over here. I, I don't know where she wants to go there, but... Ah, it looks like uh, Jim just got done unloading into my cousin over there. His cousin. His girlfriend. I don't know. Girlfriend probably is the right thing to say. They're definitely not related. I'm surprised she's driving the 9RX. Might uh, have to get in that Steiger just to see how it drives. Well, I think I'm going to put the drone up, take some shots. You guys enjoy. California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, oh, I wanna run up through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hate him even if I tried All right, so uh, I wanted to drive this thing, so I uh, figured I we did a little switcheroo. So uh, pretty sure my cousin's driving Jim's Harvester, so she's driving the big eight series. 
8000 series and Jim is driving uh, the harvester I was driving, the 7240. Here we go, we're gonna hopefully unload her quick. Gotta go real quick here. Man, this thing has all the power in the world to pull this grain cart. Go. Unloading. Oh, better get out of her way here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. A jackknife the grain cart trying to get out of her way. Come on, cousin. Hopefully she picks that head up through the waterway here. Come on, pick up the head. That's a steep waterway. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Oh. I can, I'm not unloading you in that little uh, ditch there. Are you crazy? Man. Get out of there before I witness something I'm going to have to testify at. Try to unload Jim before he's done over here. Oh man, he already took his, uh, he already went in, so we're gonna have to follow him here. Otherwise, we'd be on the crops. We are cutting this weed a little bit high, if you can see, so well, we're leaving about, what, eight inches down there of stubble? Oh, I thought the equalizer tracks was supposed to float at eight points of travel. Apparently not. So I'm going to use this waterway here. Ooh, wow. That ditch is a little bit deeper than what I thought it was. Wow, we are really deep now. Wasn't expecting that. Gonna have to remember that when we're unloading here. Can't unload in that ditch. Wow, I would not have went through that ditch if I would have known how deep it is. These waterways are no joke. Alright. Yep, definitely want to remember the waterways when we are unloading here. There we go. Got to be awful careful unloading on the go. Oh, 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 I'm just going to let him go. Hopefully he doesn't hit the top of our cab. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely should have harvested around these. I, I didn't know they're that deep, so Jim did not say anything how deep these waterways were, so that was a bad idea. Alright, now I gotta turn around and hopefully unload my cousin on the go here. Jim just finished up. Looks like he must be cleaning off a harvester or something over there before he heads back. Got this field done was a no issue whatsoever. Two harvesters, this makes quick work of this. Still got a few more fields to do. I think he has three fields altogether. Wow. Look at that. Cousin's got some skill now. go. Start unloading on the go here. Watch out for the waterway. Don't want to hit that waterway and don't want to spill grain. So much stuff to watch here. Oh, stop. Please pick up that head. Yep. Pick up. Oh, oh, oh. Pick up. Yep. There you go. Oh, oh. oh wow. Well, she made it. Alright, well, I'm going to take this over and unload it. Alright, my cousin just took off before she unloaded this. I don't know why. So I guess she said something about a Starbucks run. I don't know. Man, her and them Starbucks. Thought Jim tamed her of that. But I'm going to unload the last of the wheat here. I think the rest of Jim's wheat still needs like a day or two to dry down. So this was the only field that was ready to go. Go. 
on lube into our J and M. Still unloading. Thought these things had a quicker unload auger than that, but guess it's a pretty big grain tank back there. All right. Don't know if Jim wants these taken back to the yard or not, but I have to unload that semi. There we go. Got it. It's all about the lineup here. It's very has to be very finesse. Got to make sure your neighbors are impressed when they drive by. That's the most important thing. Uh oh. Guess what I forgot. Yeah, you guys probably guessed it. Forgot to fold in the auger. Paying attention to all my lineup here and forgot to fold in the auger. I don't know, I, I think, I don't know which grain cart I like better of his. I kind of like the J&M here. Kind of one of my favorite grain carts. I don't know if he has the equalizer tracks locked in or something, but they should float a lot better, I thought. And we fold that up. We are good to go. Of course, we ha it's all about the line up here. Gotta get this all lined up. So the neighbors see it coming down the road and they have to stop and, uh, they have to give themselves whiplash looking at uh, Jim's new tractor. His big harvesters here. It's a pretty uh, nice little uh, stagger here. If I have to say so myself. Oh, back this up. Gotta get that lined up perfectly. And even though it's gonna clash with the red, we have to get the uh, 9RX over here lined up too. But uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. You guessed it. Jim's gonna let me drive his rat rod here. Listen to this thing purr. This thing is not made for country roads. You're not cool until you get your red ground effects going. Make sure you don't forget, like the video. Thank you.